It took two overtimes to do it, but the Colonials took down Richmond 73-70. GW looked to be in control for much of the game until the latter parts of the second half. The Colonials led by as much as 12 in the second half, but saw that lead dwindle away. GW almost escaped in regulation, but a half-court shooting foul by Patricio Garino allowed the Spiders to shoot three free throws, sending the game into overtime. GW chased Richmond in the first overtime, but was able to bring it back to a 58-58 tie to bring the game to double OT. In the second overtime, the Colonials were able to put some distance between themselves and the Spiders. Crucially, GW was clutched from the free throw line in the game, and especially in overtime. Normally a weak spot for the Colonials, GW shot 83% from the charity stripe throughout the game, hitting 14 of 17 in overtime alone. The big hero for the Colonials was the big man Kevin Larson. Larson, who scored no points in GW's loss to LaSalle, had a game-high 22 points. Those 22 points, a career-high for Larson, were coupled with 11 boards, which was good for a double-double. The rest of the core four also scored at least 10 points each, after none of them scored in double digits in GW's loss to LaSalle. GW's next game will be at the Smith Center on Saturday against George Mason. The Colonials beat the Patriots twice last season. For the Hatchet, I'm Zach Montalero.